This is an indirect kiss. Ooh, an indirect kiss. Ooh, through a juice box. Cause spit is magic. magic. <laughs> yeah, cause spit is magic now. Magic um, saliva. <laughs> Uh, so this is an episode, is this the first time we see Steven's mother? Like, we see her in, it's a well, statue. Well, in statue form. Yeah, but, but we do see her. Um, um I, I've been looking at the episode list, by the way, because even people are like, the Amazon uh, has it backwards and stuff, it's like, you know, really, even fucking Amazon can't get it Why right, can't but... anybody just fucking release them in the proper order? So I, I'm checking them, and it looks like the next few are in the right order. Um, but uh, yeah, so if I'm right, I think this is the first time we see the mother in the statue. Um, and uh, Stephen accidentally, or, or he does it, Amethyst accidentally cracks her uh, gem and has to get it fixed, and it turns out Stephen's tears, or at least Rose's tears, uh, could heal, uh, but... His tears can't. Uh, I on top have of that, no a, tears to give. Yeah, on top of that, he just has a hard time crying. And then at the very end, when he does which cry... They, which I did love that line. What do you mean you have a hard time crying? <laughs> you cried about snakes earlier today. <laughs> they have no arms! They have no arms! <laughs> uh, that was really funny. Uh, but even when he does cry, it still doesn't work. So he uh, finds out uh, by healing Connie's sight... Uh, she no longer needs glasses, that his spit apparently has healing powers, so that's... What a random superpower. I know, that's gonna be really weird in future episodes when someone's damaging, it's just like, there you go. <laughs> just a whole bunch of loogies. Um, so, yeah, a couple interesting angles to take this at. I mean, I get... I really like when... Because I think it plays a little against type that he does not cry for his mother because he doesn't know her. And it's not, it's like he wants to. He wants to be able to cry. He wants to feel like... Well, his girlfriend him, cried but, before yeah. <laughs> No, <but>, Go on. <laughs> yeah, but, but, but even that's like really, and that is really sad because everyone should, you know, know their parents and stuff like that. Um, but, you know, he does not have a connection. He hears all these great things that he knows mm -hmm. that she probably is great. But it's different than actually feeling the person and experiencing them and stuff. So I really like that. I thought that was actually, you know, because most would just have, just think of Mother. Oh, okay, and the tear comes or whatever, and how wonderful she probably was. But I like that he doesn't have that connection, um, you know, because he's just never met her. Uh, so I, I like that. I like how, um, I guess the episode, the moral of the episode is kind of just, would you say that the moral is it's okay to cry? I mean, is that kind of the angle? Because I don't think anything built up I, like it's bad to cry beforehand. I don't um, know if there's, there's a, moral. a moral per se. Mm -hmm. Just it. I I don't know if it was if it's okay to cry because he wanted to cry the whole yeah, time. Kind of, so. Yeah, there was nothing that said like, oh, what you was you're crying or anything like that. So maybe I mean, it's just a bunch of stuff. There. Yeah, maybe <laughs> maybe that's it. Um... It does tackle sort of an interesting, uh, interesting thing is that for some people it is, it is hard to cry. And I don't mean that at all as like an insult against those who do cry or insult against those who have a hard time crying, whatever. Just for some people it is very difficult. Um, even when you know, I mean, I know like there's times where it's like, no, I you, to. you lost your hat this morning and started bawling. Oh, I was afraid! It almost left! It was sad. It was very sad. Um... But yeah, but there are times where it's like, even when you know it's healthy, it's like, no, like, I, I need to do this. I need to cry. I need to get this out. Like, sometimes it's difficult. It just has to come at a certain time, and it's hard to force. Um, so I, I do kind of like they were addressing that. Um, other people cry at the drop of a hat. <laughs> um, <laughs> I did that in my first review, actually. I actually dropped a hat on one of the characters. I cry right? when I'm forced to watch the Smurfs. Yeah, I um, mean, that's just where it goes. Um... But yeah, it's, uh, it's, so it was good. I like that we know, you know, we, we find out more. Okay, here, one other thing I thought was interesting. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm sort of taking this all over. Uh, but, um, That's okay, because you set the camera up like an idiot. I have to, like, lean in to... <laughs> well, no, I was trying to get the light. We still don't have it. Well, you're the one that we, likes to film in the office. We still don't have any light. Well, you wouldn't let us film out there, because you said it looks like a disaster area. Well, yeah, I'm too lazy to clean it. Okay, uh, well, I would have filmed out there. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe the next one will film out here. Tune in next time to see where we're filming. Bye! Instead, it's like, like... <laughs> 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 it's Steven! <laughs>
And Steven! <laughs> <laughs> and Rob! Um, yeah, I'm just gonna do the whole thing from over here. <laughs> over here, you're gonna be Dr. Claw. <laughs> I'll get you next time, Gadget. <laughs> next to shut up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, stop it, stop it. <laughs> Not hey, cool. Feline cancer? Really? <laughs> I should have gotten a dog. Um, but, uh, no, but the other interesting thing, uh, are you picking up on this too? I mean, because, okay, they all obviously really like Rose and they remember her finally and stuff. Pearl really seems to like Rose. Well, if you look at it, I think Pearl probably had way more in common with Rose than any of the others. That she does if seem like look, the most responsible. Pearl is the most prim, proper... Will you come into the shop? No! <laughs> You're really gonna do no, it. No, no, no. I'm gonna totally do it from over here. Okay. It's gonna be the ninja review. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, Pearl I thought was the most prim, proper... What? No. Oh, where did he go? <laughs> <laughs> You're such a dick. <laughs> no, we'll do it like this. So Pearl was the most prim and proper, I thought, I'm out so of the three. I'm so afraid. I never should have started the Blair Witch Project. Anyway, oh. if you want to... I was having a thought. <laughs> no, you weren't. You were having an <laughs> ass moment of trying to stay in the camera. Hey, Doug, I'm somewhere in your room. Come find me. All right. Are fine. you here? <laughs> All right, fine. Readjust it. No. Yes. Okay, well, that's why I was doing here. Hold on. Okay, well, point B. Mm. Rose is a healer. She seems fairly nice from what everyone says. Everyone says her very much. Pearl is the prim proper one. Very pretty, dainty. She's kind of wafy. You know, she's got the pastel colors. And she's also neurotic. Mm. Always super organized. Super panicky. I just, I always get the impression that Rose may have been... How do I put this? You know how, um... Garnet and Amethyst feel like somehow they connect together even though they're kind of opposites. Well, I guess they like did do like They complement each other. Uh -huh. Like, I feel like Rose and Pearl would have been the same way, whereas Pearl is more neurotic, Rose would have been a little more laid back, but their personalities are still similar they, like, enough that they click. They kind of complete each other. Yeah, yeah, they completed each other and they clicked. Um, I, I, I don't get that from Garnet or Amethyst when it comes to Pearl. Yeah, I get like, Pearl's always panicking that Garnet or Amethyst are going to fuck something up. Well, they both seem very much like, you know, just the action-oriented, uh, hold on. Just, uh, here we go. Uh, yeah, they seem very much like the, the action-oriented people, you know, Garnet, Amethyst, they're, you know, just go in, rush. You know, with Amethyst, it's very much, hey, let's just have fun, and yeah, Garnet's, Pearl you know, very Pearl is the type A serious, personality. But, yeah. yeah. Um, and, uh, yeah, but now the, the interesting thing is, like, even with that, uh, mm -hmm. you know, because we've had Korra and stuff like that that's opened up, um, you know, is, is it like a friendly love? Is it a sisterly love? Or is it like a couple love? You know, or, or even oh, just Pearl? like... Yeah, I mean, or even like a warrior's love or something like that. Where well, she had a respect. kid. Well, Rose I mean, had a kid, it, so I would... Well, no, I don't no, know, no, I don't no, know. but no, but that could be even more... Or, I mean, it could be like it, a, um... Oh, wait, wait, where is I going with this? I mean, it, it could be sort of something where it's like she looked at her like a teacher, sort of like a mentor, you know, a teacher in student love as well. So, I mean, because there's clearly something she has. It's not just, oh, hey, we worked well off each other. It's like, she's got something. I considering mean. we haven't seen much of Rose, I, I don't know if we could really say. I mean, I, I guess we can't really find out, yeah. But, I mean, to me, it feels more like than just a... Um, you know, like, yeah, we got along kind of thing. I mean, because, like, she's really obsessed with that place not being torn down. And, oh, yeah, just go through it. Go through the place where she used to come all the time and just, you well, know. Well, okay, well, keep this in mind, too, I mean, though. There could be a very simple explanation for some of that, too, which is Pearl hates messes. <laughs> so, and it sounds like no, it was once a beautiful true, place. And now it's taken over by thorn bushes or whatever, so. Yeah. Yeah, I, I guess um, that's true. But even before so she... So it could have been the talk. double whammy of like, oh, not only is it not how I remember it, it's also a fucking mess. <laughs> it could be just kind of like a fangirl thing, too. I guess it kind of falls under the mentor thing, though, as well. Because everything seems to be really praising her. Like, the other two, you know, really respect her and stuff, but she I seems to really I just get the impression that Pearl and Rose just really got along. Mm. <laughs> like, I hate to say it, I get the impression that if Pearl was going to pick for somebody to die in the group, it would not have been Rose. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Probably not. Um, but yeah, because she seems to talk the most about Rose. Um, I've noticed. I just, I never quite 
picked it up because I sort of thought it was all three, but then this one I'm like, yeah, like she really seems to talk about her a lot. Um, so, and it's interesting, and most of the stuff that's always like the most lovely stuff is usually from Pearl. Um, but yeah, it could be, could be a mentor thing, could be just best pals, I mean, could, could be like a sisterly thing or something, I don't know. Um, but yeah, no, I, I, I like this one, and I like the, uh, I was, I was oh. a really good episode, I like the, the plot points of, well, now we know the gems can break, and hmm. what happens <laughs> makes you talk backwards and turns you into Mr. Fantastic. Yeah, so some of that, like, some of that animation on her got a little nightmare fuel-ish. <laughs> um... Oh, uh, it was when Steven was trying to cry and squeezing his Yeah, that eyeball. was a little, ooh. <laughs> that mm. was definitely, I kept thinking it was going to, like, pop out or something. Um, but, uh, yeah, a lot of funny expressions, too, when Connie's trying to get the story out of to them. I mean, those are some fun uh, expressions. Uh, but, yeah, no, I, I thought it was good. We found out a good deal. It had some genuinely nice emotion to it, too. Uh, I like that weird bit where he thinks he sees the statue reaching out towards him. And then it's, it's just the statue standing there, and uh, that's a nice little, oh, what was that? Was that real? Was that something in the water? Did you just imagine that? So it, I like that. Um, no, it was a good episode. And uh, what I like, too, the indirect kiss is actually not a very big part of it. It's just something that pops up at the end. And it's like, even though it's called an indirect kiss, uh, although maybe, maybe it's the mother indirectly kissing her son, you know, through the crying thing some. How? I don't know, they don't reveal everything yet, but, uh, but no, I, I, I did think that was funny, because I'm thinking to myself, well, how's this indirect kiss gonna happen, because that's what it's called, and, uh, I thought that was a fine way to do it, but that was interesting, she still kept the glasses, too, like, she just popped out she popped the glass. <laughs> it's yeah. her identity. <clears throat> Maybe, I don't know. It was getting just... too confusing for the animators. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they're just like, you know what, we have this draw, we have... The, the chart show staying on model is the best thing to do, so it's like, we already have the toys made. The chart <laughs> just, is where it's at. <laughs> Listen to the chart. So, um, yeah, a uh, good episode. I think we're getting pretty close to the end of the first season, actually. So, uh, if, again, going kind of by the Amazon thing, but I think there's only, like, two left, I think. Now uh, it turns out that the next three they're gonna run are all from season four, which hasn't even been aired yet! Don't watch it! <sighs> See you there!